Let's let it lassies. Here we are again, Josh and Micaiah, back for more My Hero Academia. <laughs> Say hello, Micaiah. Hello there. This feels like a weird position. You know, the MCU. It's, I'm, it's, I'm, I'm just gonna totally call you out on that now. Like, <laughs> you're just gonna go <laughs> on, zoom in. Wait, no, no, Frick, I, I clicked something. Okay, there we go. We're fine. We're good. Full yeah. on zoom in right cool. there. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> Nothing happened. You, you can cut that, right, Josh? Cool. You can cut that, right? Very cool. Yeah. I, it Josh, will not be cut. <laughs> my, my editing friend, my close, very, very good friend, I you will never, edit that out. I will never make you look like a fool on YouTube, Makaya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. You don't have to. I do that myself. But here we are back again doing another set of episodes. Not just one, a set of episodes. Because, um, quite honestly, I do not remember what happens in these two episodes. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to be doing them together. Last week, we did three episodes as a... You tell us, what was the, the, the arc we did last week, Mikaya? Last week was, uh... Oh man, that was, uh, Bakugo and Todoroki finishing up their hero license thing exam. Um... Along with some other stuff that was sprinkled in there, but that was that was the the thing that held it all together, I guess. Not even the important thing, just the thing that held it all together. Uh, we, yeah, we got a lot of really small character reactions from that. That led to a very very long conversation. Yeah, I did not think the conversation would be I that long. Like, <laughs> yeah, I feel like the small little character interactions from this show like bring more conversation out of us, out of me at least. Uh, than the actual like big moments themselves, which is kind of funny. It is. It just depends, really. <laughs> yeah, it really does. But yeah, we. I, I knew we would talk a lot about Endeavor, a little bit about Bakugo. Then we just talked a lot about Bakugo, and then a, a lot about literally everything. That was like psychoanalyzing three episodes, and I did not expect that. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. I. I didn't expect it either. Um. We don't know what to expect anymore, so yeah, let, let's, this conversation could be two hours, it could be 15 minutes. Let's see if we make that same mistake with these two episodes. This world is a superhuman society with about 80% of the population. It's been a while since we've gotten the, uh, this world is a society. Those who stand yeah. Against villains who abuse their powers for evil. I wonder why now. This feels like a weird they point for it. Yeah, I guess we just finished an arc. I guess the last three episodes could be like, yeah, a cool down for the arc, and then this could be the start of something. But, like, you don't remember this, so... So I, I guess I don't know. So many characters. It's like, and I recognize all of them. Oh my god, we need to see. At the end, like when we finally catch up with season 5, we need to do a tier list, and I will have to try and name every 1A character. <laughs> all 20. We'll see how good your memory is. I told my sister um, that you said, like, you're looking at the intro, and you're like, there's nothing to spoil, and she laughed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you tell her about the uh, length of the conversation? Yeah, I said it was her fault. <laughs> <laughs> How'd she respond? She's like, I'm sorry, I didn't know you guys just talked. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. Oh, ooh, okay. This would be great for hero work. <laughs> Yeah. It's Mineta. Wow, it's been a minute since Mineta's been a thing. Wait, yeah, you're right. It's been so long. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah boy! boy. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> this would yeah, be me. One look and I can tell music is your whole life. Drop it, moron! Forget about what you <laughs> saw in there! Oh, Interesting. Yeah, that's passion. For real. She's gonna she stick him with- oh. uh, <laughs> Just shut it. Close. Hmm. Interesting. The school festival. Final school Slice of, <laughs> <laughs> Slice of life uh, enjoyers be <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> what is up with his hair? It's, it's a style. He's trying to set a trend. 
Especially Will it work? <laughs> Probably not. But he's trying. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> he's trying. I promise I will do my very best. Let's you know what he reminds me of? We will have a quick that one lawyer anime meme thing. Phoenix you know Wright? Yeah, okay, I see it. Yeah. You should edit a clip of that in. Seriously, imagine it. Now imagine it again, but with more details. Okay. I like the um, the dots to create the heart that uh, Higakure is creating because he can't see her hands. Thank you. Also a suggestion. Oh, I actually like that suggestion. That's a good suggestion. There we go. <laughs> I would, I would go to that one. Who said a local history presentation? That sounds super boring. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, my classmates have spoken. I don't think we can offer the students at UA a meal that satisfies their taste buds, since they're used to lunch rushes, gourmet cooking. Okay, that's fair. So, food is out of the question. so that that'd be basically me making like a birthday breakfast for you, but you eat gourmet food all the time. <laughs> yeah. I still think a skit would be a lot of fun. Watching amateurs perform can be pretty stressful. Why don't we have No, a not stressful. Party? It's mostly cringy. Yeah, but if they're self-aware, it's funny. That's true. I don't know what it's called exactly, but it looks like everyone really enjoys it. There, something like this. A concert? Of course, Todoroki wouldn't know what a concert is. No, I got the idea from my extra exam training. <laughs> yes! Yes! I wish that was the exam I art. love that! None of us really Hold on, you idiot! Dance is about rhythm, thunderous beats! If we do this, we'll need some serious jams! Well, if we're Did somebody say jam? Huh? Ah! Ah! Their hobbies actually help their hero work. Bruh! Bruh! Music. Your power is headphone jack. It's just a hobby. But she could use like, she uses it to I listen to like heartbeats. She could uh make sonic attacks with it. it. <laughs> the same, what? No. I don't know. Yeah. Like harmony. Dude. Oh, harmony is a super know. important part of sound. Like there's a ton you could do with that. Okay, wait. And she, she makes sonic attacks with her heart. <laughs> you can play so many instruments. You're freaking Harmony? Awesome. No, not harmony. Like Jeez. her heart. Okay, yeah. Like Oh yeah. Specifically her oh, heartbeat. Like she can't like plug her ears into a guitar bass and then like it... Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah! Yes! Class one able to a live performance and throw a dance party like this school's never seen before! Yeah! Huh, interesting. Foreshadowing. Just it's just the next random clip on YouTube. I don't know what you mean. We brought you some yummy snacks, though. Hope you're feeling hungry. This is so What's wholesome. It oh, really no. is. Yes, peaches are your favorite. I'm so glad that peach. they don't think they didn't drop Ari yeah, after uh, they saved her. Like, no, we're gonna visit her in the <laughs> hospital. Ah, so wholesome. So a million and Deku and then. Oh. Mm. There's a man wearing glasses. All of you ended up getting hurt real bad because of me. She'll find out someday, but it's too cruel to tell her now. Mm -hmm. I know that, but you lost your power because you were protecting me, Lemillion. Everyone fought because they wanted to see you smile. Give her a hug, please. Somebody give that girl a hug. Deku, Someone just else is about to die because group of hug, guys. Uh, Bring his owl in there too. It's so much easier to be hurt your yeah. <laughs> please, actually, please, yes, bring him in. I think Izawa could use the hug too. <laughs> yeah, probably. And a nap. She needs deep, serious counseling. Give her a hug. Bring her to Ayama. Let her have some cheese. Yes. She should come with us to the UA festival. 
<laughs> he blew his mind. The best idea ever. We're gonna have such a blast. A school festival is a festival that takes place at our school. It's Bruh. great. All the students plan super duper exciting things for the rest of the classes to have fun with. Festival that takes place at our school. Wow. Oh, and get this. I bet there'll be candy apples there. What are candy apples? It's when they dip an apple into some crackly sugar stuff and make it even sweeter. Sweeter how? <laughs> <laughs> yes, give that girl a candy apple. That I just wanted to be friends with the people who helped me. Yes. Okay, everything about this is so shockingly wholesome. It's so pure. Like, it's literally the three most wholesome characters in the entire show interacting. <laughs> it's adorable. That's when two people who like each other spend time together. So, we're going on a date? <laughs> Maybe that's enough for <laughs> Maybe that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Jackie. <laughs> See this post? Kindly put the cash into this briefcase before those worthless heroes decide to show themselves. Please. The gentleman's villain. I always love the gentleman's villain okay. trope. Oh, he, it, so it is put the bills one of the, my favorite tropes. <laughs> I just love the voice that they always give the gentleman villains. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's the same voice every time, but it's still, it's, it's, all, it's beautiful. Drop your weapon! La brava. Will you be all right? <laughs> Calm yourself, La Brava. La, la Brava. Do you think a duo of A composed gentle? <laughs> yes. Duo of oh. your weapon. Gentle video. See you next time. It's beautiful. These are becoming more elaborate. Going by gentle criminal, huh? Think this guy is serious, or is it all a joke? No, he's serious. We're not getting many views on the new video, even though you were absolutely undeniable. Me looking at our YouTube analytics. I need a scheme that no soul can ignore. Fret not, I will settle on something quite perfect. Of that, I'm sure. Pot. <laughs> <laughs> I actually love his design too. It. Okay, I, I, just in general, I just love Gentle Criminal so much. <laughs> I love the voice. Yeah. Uh, his uh, design. So your... Are you looking for a a, sure. a gentleman? <laughs> I am looking for a gentleman villain. Ooh. Let's do the edge. Do you have it in mind? Or are you trying to remember what your Vigo. name is? Vigo. Vigo. Did you ever watch... Uh... Let's see. Yes. Yes, this is exactly him. Did you ever watch the How to Drain Your Dragons TV show Race to the Edge? No they made I a few of them. Race to the Edge was the good one. I did not, but I, the, think, the decent one? I think you've told me about a gentleman villain within this series. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the main villain, at least for part of it, is uh, this guy. His name is Vigo Grimborn. Well, he and he actually like has this. Villain. No, he does not. But he acts like it. He has this really fascinating relationship with Hiccup. Like, he's this brilliant strat or strategist, 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 strategist. However you want to say it, strategist. Yeah, he's, he's brilliant. And they've got like their own version of chess. And so he and Hiccup both view all of their battles as chess matches. Uh, oh. And like, like they can actually like perpetually outsmart each other. And because Hiccup is able to play the game with him, he actually really respects Hiccup. Um, he's, he's still the antagonist of the show, for sure. He's still out to hunt dragons. Um, but it's really, really interesting. He's actually like a really fascinating character, a really good villain. Man, uh, in hindsight. I need to yeah. watch uh, Race to the Edge. <laughs> I love the How to Train Your Dragon franchise. I just never watched the, the shows. Yeah. Honestly, that show was the only one worth watching. Oh. <laughs> uh, there was one other, but the other one was meant for, like, younger, younger audiences. The Race to the Edge, it was fine. Like, it wasn't super mature, but, like, it was enjoyable enough overall. It never actually really went deep with uh, deep themes, but it actually went pretty strong with the characters. Hmm. Um, yeah, so it's it's worth watching for sure. 
Also, I just want to say, ever since we went on to Scully and Scully the other day, I keep I'm I'm getting pop up ads from them. Hang on, let me just uh, let me just just take a picture of this ad so I can send it to you so you can edit it in for the labs. Scully and Scully. You know that website we were looking at yesterday? Oh. Yeah, I, I wasn't yeah. signed in. I was using my Firefox account, which means I wasn't signed in to my browsing history. Oh. So, uh, Lucky you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For, for context, yeah. Lines, um, before we started doing our My Hero uh, little thing yesterday, we were just, like, looking stuff up, and we found this really cursed uh, website. Ugh. I looked up office chairs and I found this website. Um, As you can see, they're selling these. Honestly, they don't look too bad. Like, the one in the middle was what caught my eye. The cat? The mice and the chair. This is just weird. It's just weird. There was there was way worse stuff on it yesterday. Um, but yeah, they, they keep sending me ads, apparently. Well, that's yeah. on you for looking on your, uh, your browser history. <laughs> that's fair. Um, yeah. Anyways, yeah. So whenever I see any gentleman villain now, though, I think of Vigo Rimborn. Like, he's actually defined the gentleman villain for me, because his gentleman villain wasn't in, or his, the way he was the gentleman villain, wasn't in the way that he talked per se. It wasn't in the way that he dressed or anything like that. It was in the way he actually treated the hero, which is really cool and really interesting. So, yeah, yeah. Gentle, but, like that was looking. Like, yeah. Gentle is just the gentle, like the gentleman villain for me. Just the voice, mm -hmm. the costume. Yeah. La brava. Oh yeah. <laughs> La brava. La brava. Yeah, I already love him. But I just, I just generally love the gentleman's villain. So yeah, uh, yeah. So that's interesting. They're planning a thing. Uh, they're, yeah. The school festival. Deku had the idea of bringing her to the festival. Um, good decision, actually. Very great decision. Super compassionate. Honestly, pretty clever. Or eh, yeah, pretty clever. Creative. Smart move. Were it not for Gentle, um, Gentle's gonna do something stupid and screw everything up and then get caught. Because I feel like at this point, villains need to learn that it's kind of stupid to attack a school full of superheroes training new superheroes. You know, it always. I, I feel like that's a bad decision. <laughs> well, okay, so Shigaraki decided to attack the school because. Well, he didn't attack the school, he attacked like a field trip of the school. So he, yeah. he had the right idea there. Gentle's just planning on the school. Like, as far as we know right now, yeah. it's Gentle just the school. <laughs> Which is probably not the best. Yeah. <laughs> Especially since everyone, it's going to be the school festival. Every student is going to be there. All the professors. Uh, and the teachers. Don't forget, like, all of the teachers. So Eraserhead. Eraserhead's a big deal. Uh, Cementa. Proxima Midnight. Uh, I mean, those are the three that I remember their names. Who else? Snipe. Present Mike. Snipe. Oh, yes. Snipe. Uh, Present Mike. Ectoplasm. Ectoplasm. Oh, ectoplasm. Yeah, he's, he can't handle Ectoplasm. Yeah. yeah. Well, he did take out five of those heroes. We don't know how, but he did. That's true. But they were like... They, they didn't seem special. Yeah, they were street level, I guess. They were just proud. They were chilling. Yeah. They were cruising. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Damn. Yeah. Um. Everything about her, Ari, this episode, like it's not psychologically deep. It's just emotionally it's powerful. Just, it's just wholesome. It's just it's pure just wholesome. wholesomeness. Pure wholesomeness. Like I can't even dissect it. I can just enjoy. Enjoy it, and I love that. Like that's great. It's it's just purely wholesome. I just love that. Yeah. She can't like. She can't smile like she's like been with. Mm -hmm. she, I was gonna say she's rocky. No, she's been with overall for so long. She doesn't she's remember how to smile. She's Kia, yeah. and mm -hmm. Deku and Lemillion's new mission now is to save this girl emotionally. 
instead of physically. From sadness, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah. Like, you don't get to really see a lot. Honestly, way harder. Yeah. Like, you don't, like, in superhero media, it's usually like, save the person. All right, the person's saved. Especially, like, when TV shows, it's save the person, person saved, we don't see them again. But the Airy, it's like, all right, let's go visit her in the hospital. All right, she's physically safe from an overhaul, but she's nowhere near emotionally or mentally safe. Let's go help her with that now. <laughs> Which yeah. it's mm -hmm. just so pure. It's a, it's adorable. Yeah. Yep. So clean. So wholesome. Yeah. Um. I think that's actually all of my thoughts. This one was really, really short. How did you like, uh, uh, like the Jiro thing? I, we kind, you kind of said a little bit about it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's interesting. We're actually exploring her character more. We haven't explored her character yet. I'm surprised. We're taking this little break to actually explore some of the B characters. And yeah, it's interesting. I'm surprised immediately uh, when you saw the intro. I'm surprised you didn't go, oh, we're going to focus on Jiro this half. <laughs> She's a majority of the intro. <laughs> that that does make sense, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I should have cut that. Mr. I can't... <laughs> Mr. I, this intro has no split <laughs> 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 I mean... True. Okay, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. I should have got that. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Jiro is going to be interesting, actually. This is going to be interesting. I want to see her develop her powers more. Because, like, I don't know. If it's heartbeat, man, that's actually a really sad limit on her powers. Because, like, you can't control the rhythm. And rhythm... If you if you play around with that, you can like screw people up. Like, yeah, you can do some interesting stuff with that on its own. And then, dude, if she had control of her harmony, like, she could make some of the nastiest sounds in the world, like you can possibly imagine, or some of the most beautiful. Like, just just imagine, right? Like, if you can create a melody in your head, just imagine being able to. Poof, put that out into the world around you without an instrument and even a need for music theory like that yeah would be incredible that would just be an incredible gift for any musician to have let alone a hero oh absolutely yeah and if she's like absolutely a talented musician which apparently she is that is nuts to think about that's insane to think about um if i could do that i feel like i already would have written an album's worth of songs i just i just I still have to learn a lot of music if it was only as easy as projecting what you hear in your head. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh-huh. So. Uh, eh, living you... <laughs> or, well, yeah. I have to do things the hard way. I'm fine with that. The hard way is fun, too. Uh, since we already started talking about this episode, we'll just do the two episodes separately since we're already a little bit into uh... Yeah. Honestly, yeah. At this point. But, like, uh, like... <laughs> oh shoot! I need to stop recording. I liked your reaction when Jiro was like, um, "Oh, my hobby doesn't help me with my hero work," and you're like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it really can. If it's used well, it really, really can. Actually, it can be really powerful. Well, the thing with her, um, her quirk is that, like, she uses her earplugs to plug into walls, and she hears things mm -hmm. more. And she can also plug into herself to um, shoot out her heartbeat like a sonic attack. I, yeah. From what I understand, she cannot like just plug herself into a guitar. Use her voice. And, like, yeah. She can't do like a canary cry, like Black Canary, or um, yeah. She can't like use instruments to like amplify uh, the sound that she's trying to make. That's from what I understand. So she's. It it kind of goes with her quirk. But it really does not go at all. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm curious to see what they do with it. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's an interesting little conflict that they, they've given uh, Jiro. Because, I mean, like, it's not like uh, Bakugo's inferiority dash superiority conflict. Yeah. Or uh, Todoroki's, no, yeah. Todoroki's uh, emotional and physical scarring. Deku's journey to become a hero. It's more like slice of life personal-ish. You know, I was like, I'm kind of a yeah, little embarrassed. It's, it's that. relatable. It's like I'm embarrassed I, that my hobby doesn't go with my profession. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a little bit of stage fright, a little bit of that embarrassment. Yeah. 
it's it's just relatable. It's just human. The others are complex and like deep, and they make you think about the world around you. First, no, you just feel it. You just get it. It just makes sense. And yeah. of course, we are going to be going into the uh, the school concerts. Instead, I kind of would like to see uh, that Aizawa's a public lecture. <laughs> that would be interesting. Yes. <laughs> I love uh, the class's reaction to uh, who said a history lesson? That sounds so boring. And he was <laughs> like, well, seems my classmates have spoken. <laughs> yep. It's the heartbroken. Yep. But, uh, yeah, um, going off of, like, the school festival stuff, uh, I, I do like that they're gonna be, they're being heroes, even in the school festival, that, uh, they want to give their classmates a stress-free time, they want, because they kind of, yeah. it's kind of their fault <laughs> that, uh, yeah. their class, like, their entire school kind of has to suffer, like, all the, the restrictions mm -hmm. now going, everyone had to move into dorms because of class 1a kind of not yeah. really it's mostly the villain's yeah, yeah. fault but they're the ones tar class 1a was targeted so it's their fault by so yeah basically yeah kind of sort of yeah but like honestly though also it's just the right thing to do it's just good that's just a good decision so yeah it's it's wholesome it's considerate it's a good hero thing yeah yeah if you watch a lot of slice of life anime the school festival is one of the biggest tropes it is in every single one that you can think wow. of. Wow. It happens quite a bit. <laughs> I, huh. I am a connoisseur uh, of school festivals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember right at the end of the Simon Voice. Uh, yeah, I guess there wait, was yeah. there a school festival at the end of the Simon Voice? I don't remember. It, it resolved there. Yeah, it was like... They were... The resolution was right there at the end uh and they were like walking through the school festival together and that was when he finally just let himself it was either a school festival or a carnival I thought they went something to a, like that like i thought they went to the fair i don't know maybe, maybe it was a school festival i don't remember the ending of silent voice specifically or like you know the setting i just remember like the emotion of him finally letting like everyone being seen that was really good ah oh, really good really good movie yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think that covers it. Yeah, that was all that happened. Yeah, we just really got like a little bit of a superficial stuff. You know, it's kind of like just building blocks yeah. at this point. Got introduced to Gentle. Got introduced to uh, obje new objective. Make Ari smile. <laughs> yeah, yes. The side objective. Yeah. The school festival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But also, let's do this. So yeah, yeah lads, uh, this is a bit of a shorter discussion. We're going to go right into the next episode now. So if you want to see that, hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned. Hit the notification bell so you're notified next week when next episode drops. I know I said that we'd be doing both episodes today, like in one episode. But, well, we started talking oh. about this episode and kind of just went down from there. So <laughs> be a little weird yeah. to have a discussion about this episode. Now, going to the next episode, might as well just... Might as well just make them separate because we already just we just had the discussion. <laughs> What's the yep. point? So uh, yep, yeah, let's we'll see you next week for more of my hero. Subscribe, watch some of the Legend of Korra. That's what. Well, get past the first two episodes. Yeah, watch our watch our other stuff too. Yeah, uh, watch Korra, Avatar, um, our Halo, Marvel, let's Star play Wars. Marvel, Star Wars, Halo, stuff. Uh, uh, many many other stuff. Many a, uh, many series is on this channel. So Gravity Falls. Enjoy. Oh, like Gravity Falls. Falls. How did I not uh, mention Jujutsu that? Jujutsu Kaisen one? should be up by then. Ooh, yes, it by the time be. this comes out, mm -hmm. uh, we've we've got we're we're planning or we're posting this like a few months after we're recording it, so we actually don't know what's currently the most recent thing up on the channel. Everything that we're mentioning at this point is at least months old. Um, still good though. Still high quality stuff. Yes, check out the Jujutsu Kaisen reactions because I already know Makai is gonna love it, and I, I I'm oh. hoping Anthony warms oh. up more. I mean, he already did warm up a little bit. He went from playing Skyrim in the first episode to going, you know what, I'll watch the second episode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, lads, subscribe, watch our other content, we'll see you next week for more.